On freshwater bodies, these accumulation of white or brownish bubbles are known as foam lines. On the sea, they're known as either spume or sea foam. The foam isn't a sign of human pollution. It's a perfectly natural process whereby the decay of plants and animals results in dissolved carbon compounds in the water. And these act rather like detergents. So any movement of the water, such as waterfalls and river currents, creates a foam. A very rare phenomenon in winter is if it freezes, the foam also will freeze. And they can also break them into sections, which the current makes them flow and move in a circular fashion. This breaks off the edges, and you get what looks like a series of dinner plates floating in the water. The reason why the foam lines beneath the hanging gardens are so extensive is because just above is an igneous dike that runs across the river and creates water currents that whip up the water, making masses of bubbles.